Hello, welcome to Game Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will be taking a look at how to fix the FIFA 23 DirectX error on PC. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to continue receiving updates from our channel. Don't forget to share our channel. Step number 1. Update Windows. Always try to install the latest update of the system so that, you can get the latest security patch, improved performance. Click on your start menu and then click on settings. In the new window, you need to look for update and security. Now to update windows, click on the button that says check for updates. If there are updates pending, the display screen will show you the option to update windows. And Restart your PC. Step 2. Update GPU drivers. GPU drivers are one of the main components of PC gaming and they need to be kept updated constantly. If your GPU isn't updated you are more likely to face the DirectX function error in FIFA 23. If you install driver, you should uninstall driver on your PC. Click here. And Click here. And Click here. Click here. And Click here. To download, click on the link below. If there is no update available for your GPU then you can go to the official graphics card website from the links below. Start with NVIDIA, go to the official graphics card website from the links below. Click here. Click here. Restart your PC. AMD users can click here. For Intel users, right click on the dedicated graphics card that you're using. Click on Update Driver. Click on Search Automatically for Drivers. It'll now automatically check for the available update. Download and install the latest version. Wait for it to complete and then reboot or click Browse My Computer for Driver. And then Next. Click here. And then Next. Each step, try to restart your computer. Step number 3, run game on dedicated graphic card. Go to start menu, click graphics setting. Click browse here. Go to this PC. And local disk C. Program file. And. Click here. Click here. Back to. And. Back to Click here Click EA Games Back to Back to STEM Library And click FIFA 23 Click on FIFA23.exe and then add. Select High Performance and save. Click Browse here. Click FIFA23 Trial here and then add. Select High Performance and save. Step number 4. Close unnecessary background tasks. Press the Control plus Shift plus Escape keys to open. 
it's recommended to close all the unnecessary background running tasks on your system in order to increase performance. Click on your start menu and then click on task manager. Click here. Close unnecessary background tasks. Right click and click on end task. After that, try to restart your PC. Step number 5, Xbox Controller Users. Install Xbox Accessories App. The Xbox Wireless Controller is the primary game controller for the Xbox One and Xbox Series 10 S home video game consoles, also commercialized for its use in Windows-based PCs, and compatible with other operating systems such as Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. The controller maintains the overall layout found in the Xbox 360 controller, but with various tweaks to its design, such as a revised shape, redesigned analog sticks, shoulder buttons, and triggers, along with new rumble motors within the triggers, to allow for directional haptic feedback. Update now. Step number 6. Reinstall and install DirectX. You should reinstall the DirectX and use a runtime web installer on your PC if already using it. Otherwise, try installing it as a fresh one to check for the issue. Visit the official Microsoft DirectX runtime web page to download the installer. Once downloaded, make sure to install it on the PC like usually you do install other Windows applications. Make sure you have DirectX 12. Because, DirectX 12 reduces CPU overhead by up to 50% and improves GPU performance by as much as 20 per click here. And, click here. And, restart your PC. If it does not, try one of the other solutions. Step number 7, Clear DirectX Cache. Within Windows, Disk Cleanup there is an option to clear the DirectX Shader Cache which is definitely worth doing. Open the Windows Start menu. Now search for Disk Cleanup and open it. Select your C drive. And Now deselect everything but keep DirectX Shader Cache selected. And click OK. Click here. Each step, try to restart your computer. Step number 8, try a windowed mode, lower your screen resolutions. Lower your screen resolution from 1920 by 1080 to 1680 by 1050. Then start the game. Close the game again as soon as you have been in the main menu. Set your screen resolution back up to 1920 by 1080. After that, the game runs without problems. Go to Game Setting. And then, try to lower your resolution. Click here. And then, Next. Click here. Step number 10, also, do clean driver installation. Click on, manual drive search. Select your specification. Click here. Also, download, GeoForce game ready driver. Click here. And then, next. Click here.
Click here. And then, next. And. Restart your PC. Step 11, reinstall Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime. If your Windows system doesn't have Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables installed, or even already, make sure to install it on your computer and restart the system to change the effects. Click here. And. Search. And then, next, click here. Step 12, select Debug Mode in NVIDIA Control Panel. Click here. Click here. And then, next. Click here. Step 13, verify the game file. Click here. Click here. And then, next. Click here. Restart your PC. Step 14, disable Steam slash Origin Overlay and Overlay apps, close all the overclocking apps. Step 15, disable Steam slash Origin Overlay. Click here. Click here. And then, next. Click here. And click here. And then next click here. Restart your PC. Step 16 Reinstall the game. Uninstalling and then reinstalling the game will be the best solution to weed out the bug from its core and many in the community have found it to be one of the more effective solutions.